So which team that you think, uh, Mike Tirico, um, that you think, not on people's radars, will wind yep. up getting flexed into your schedule? <laughs> And 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 like uh, say, say like Cincinnati is a yeah. perfect example of that. At this point last yeah. year, everyone's right. looking at the back end of their schedule and saying, "Oh, we got Cincinnati in December. That's a win." Until Joe Burrow showed up in December, you know. Right. So, which team do you think has the the shot to get flexed into your schedule because nobody saw him coming, Mike Tirico? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, that's a good one, Rich, because we have so many teams on the schedule this year. Because so many teams were pretty good, I'm just running through my mind. I don't want to let somebody escape. What if, what if Jameis plays as go. well as he played before getting hurt? And what if Michael Thomas, who I saw was out there today, yep. uh, running drills, and we haven't seen him in a year? We forget he caught you know about 150 balls from Breeze a couple of years ago, right? Mm-hmm. And what if Dennis Allen all of a sudden wakes New Orleans up with you know guys we. We can win like sixteen to ten games and nineteen to thirteen games. Maybe maybe they're the team that kind of sneaks up on people. Um, that, that that might be the one I'll throw out there right now. That's not on the schedule. It's funny. We're here in Detroit. I, I live in this area. Yep. And we're with some folks uh, hanging out during the summer, and they said, "Hey, when do you think the Lions will be on Sunday Night Football?" It's kind of a half joke, of course. Yeah. Right. But you know what? Anybody can play their way onto Sunday Night Football. Just look at the Bengals last year. So you're right. There's one every year that you have no expectation, but they do it. So I'll give you New Orleans for now. From your mouth to the football God's ears, Detroit at the Jets week 15 gets flexed in. There you go. There's that. I think we just identified it. Um, even you know you got uh, even though you got New England at Vegas, Belichick at McDaniel's. It would take quite a bit. To flex the, out of that one, I'd imagine. But there you go, Denver, Detroit at the Jets, week fifteen. Well, I, flexed. I saw on the I saw on the Lions uh, social media this morning that, that Dan Campbell was doing up downs with the team. He taped his. As they're doing their drills this morning. I mean, he's. I can't wait for hard knocks. I cannot wait. I think it's going to be entertaining and exciting and good on the Lions, by the way, for it's kind of making a push to change the narrative because. Look, the attendance was down last year in Detroit. This is a great football city, but even the fans have worn a little thin of it. So they are just trying to reintroduce players, team, and culture. And I think Hard Knocks will do a little bit of that. And that that's a team, I'm not saying they're going to play their way onto Sunday Night Football. That's a team that can, in an NFC North, that, you know, if Green Bay is not as great as they have been, it's not going to overwhelm you like the AFC West, let's say. I, I think they could be in line for a significantly improved season from last year. Now, that could be seven wins or eight wins, but I think they, they're going in the right direction right now with Campbell. An important detail to add to Dan Campbell doing up-downs with the team is he taped his wrists to do that. <laughs> <laughs> he, he taped his wrists before doing that with the like, team. Do, I think it may be as good as the Rex Ryan – addressing the team meetings that were a part of the Jets hard knocks. That, I thought that set the bar, right? Mm-hmm. Like, let's go eat and snacks and all That's that right. stuff. Uh, I, I think some of the Dan Campbellisms in the team meetings, and the, the passion and the fury and the cower-esque spit flying from the head coach, I, I think that could be right up there with some of the best stuff we've seen on hard knocks. Now, it doesn't win you a damn game, but it'll be entertaining at least going in. 